said you chill. <laughs>
the kind of girl that you could be down for. Cause when I look at you, baby, something tells me that you're the kind of guy that I should make a move. Okay, just let me know if you're uh, and I got plenty of. I could be wrong, but I feel like it's something going on. Okay. And let you know that everything's alright. I want to be down. Okay. Let's get into this prayer. That was Brandy down. Alright. God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I said, God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Anybody sending any evil eye towards me or my collective, please return that shit back to sender with intent of knowledge. I say, I say, I say, I said, anybody sending any evil eye towards me and my collective, please return that shit back to sender with intent of knowledge so that they can stop doing that shit. I say, I say, I say, and yeah, please clear all the tools for tonight that we will be using. Bon upper midi, bon upper midi, bon upper midi. Come in, come in, come in. All right. All right, you guys, my kings, queens, loves, and babies. I said it's February 23rd, 533 on the clock. Okay. So fives and threes are predominant. So lots of change, lots of conflict. So for you to go to being this kings of cups energy, you had to go through a lot of inner conflict with yourself. You had to um, re-look at yourself. Because the number three are about the seers, the kind of sewer, like, um, like, okay, so three and four goes hand in hand. So you got the three, that's like the seers, the visionaries, the, you know what I'm saying, the outlookers the onlookers and then you got the number fours that are the connoisseurs the builders the engineers okay and then you got the number five is like um it's all about the realizations you know what i'm saying um the pros and cons of what it took to build you know what i'm saying from step one all the way up to those steps you feel me? Go do some numerology. Dissect some numerology. Look at life path number one. Look at life path number two. Go figure out what type of life path you are, okay? It's plenty of information on Google. I will have either a link down below or tell you what to type into Google in the description box below. But y'all know I'll be kind of wonky in my editing, but... Or if not, just come back and rewind. <sighs> Common sense ain't for everybody. All right. So. I'm here. I wish I may. I wish I might have this. Wish I wish tonight. Something about dragon tails. I'm here. An adventure. An adventure. Okay. It says life wants to play you a new tune. Listen. Yeah. You had to rebirth, remother, refather. Life wants to play you a new tune. Listen, 11, 15, 17, 20, 46, and 53. Okay. Okay. I know I love these little things. I don't too much mess with the cookie, but the message is, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember grandma sandwiches for lunch. My left stroke just went viral. Right stroke at a, uh, 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 uh. You and I know. Be humble. Sit down at the bottom of the deck. Be humble. So six of swords. So yeah, you sell into smoother waters. 
So you telling these people like be humble, sit down, little bitch. Like like you remember back when you were shooting in the gym. You remember back when you were struggling. You remember all that shit. Hold up, little bitch. Be humble. Hold up, hold up. Be humble. Little ho, sit down. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Be humble. Yeah. Hmm. Nine, nine of pentacles. Yeah, like you, you're flourishing. You're flourishing. You're, you're going to a place where you can flourish, but these people don't want that for you. And these people don't want you to have no love. These people don't want you to mature. <laughs> like... Because the way this is falling out, and then I got, um, and I got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse as well. Yeah, they don't, the way it fell out, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse fell out under the Knight of Swords in reverse. They want you to stay in this conflict with yourself. You being in this King of Cups energy, that attracts love. You are what you attract. So they don't want you to attract this love. They don't want you to attract self-love, any type of love of any sort. Also, where you're selling to, they don't want you to have opportunities where you're selling to. They want it to be full of bullshit where you're going, if not worse than where you're at right now. And especially with the Ten of Pentacles coming out in reverse as well. They don't want you to look at yourself like you flourishing. They don't want you to see all these things. But you are going to have love coming in. You are going to have animals and things attracted to you. You are going to have prosperity and fertility and hell of abundance. You see all that greenery? Like... You know what I'm saying? You see it's a child in there. It's an old man like... You're going to where you can flourish. You're going to where you can flourish. These people don't want that. And life wants to play you a new tune. Yeah, hangman in reverse. They want you in this hangman in reverse. They only want you to overlook the bad and keep dwelling like hell no ain't nobody about to fucking do that you see what the fuck it is you see this shit is like for it is it's dry where the fuck you at you already know it ain't no love where you at that's why you're going on this quest in the fucking first place and you're not about to be in your head about where you going and you already know when it's a mature offer on the fucking table so ain't gonna be none of that arguing back and forth about oh stay or be in your head about if you should stay early because you know where you're going it's gonna be the sun and it closed me out on both sides yeah confirmation <laughs> 540 nine endings fuck is you talking about fuck is you talking about 540. 5 plus 4 is 9. Endings. The ending that they have for you, they really gonna have for their motherfucking self. Period. What else do my collective need to? Nizzo, 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 Nizzo. <laughs> I'm hearing my idols lie to me. Right on my TV screen. I packed my bags, followed the path. I lost it all and I got nothing back. Fuck your life. Okay, spirit. What's popping with this? Knight of Swords, energy spirit. What do we need to know about this Knight of Swords? Man? Blessed as fuck. What's one thing you're grateful for? So this came out in the reverse. So you was looking at yourself like you wasn't blessed. What's one thing you're grateful for? So you had to learn how to have gratitude. That was your problem with that. You had to learn how to have gratitude. <laughs> Mm 
What's one thing you're grateful for? Discernment. <laughs> for real. And then it says, just kidding. But seriously, though, seeking cosmic consciousness. Yeah. You know, you know, you were psyching yourself out saying something crazy to yourself because it says just kidding. You know, you had to go within to fix this period confirmation. We already had said that. All right. Period. 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 What's up with my collective and this King of Cups energy? What do we know about this King of Cups energy? Get your quick fix on its side. So this is all the way around. Addicted to inner peace. Yeah. Once you once you started not to sink no more and just you know you learn how to ride the fucking wave. You thought you was addicted to trauma, but you're really addicted to peace. It's like a kid when a kid wants something, but they don't know how to express what the fuck they want. Or they don't know how to express what it is because they never had it. You feel me? So, what does my collective need to know about this Six of Swords? What does the collective need to know about this Six of Swords? Cultivate inner buddhati. What? Cultivate inner buddy. Some shit. Have a Buddha for day. Cultivate your inner Buddha. Buddha. Cultivate your inner Buddha. And then it says, have a beautiful day. So, yeah, like, you're, again, selling to calmer waters. You're going where it's beautiful. You're going to the where it's beautiful. I'm hearing this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. And I'm also here, amazing, great, how sweet, how sweet, sweet, the sound, the sound, as I have that sing, oh, church but baby i guess my church on at the crib okay don't play don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it baby don't play with it but y'all what does the collective need to know about this night <laughs> of pentacles shit why the fuck would y'all give me all these damn cards but obviously it's a, a lot that y'all need to know so i'm about to just stack them how i need to stack them and some of these came i'm actually i'm about to leave these two right there because them obviously them fell right on the right cards so i'm taking this for that and the other two that fell directly on the cards i'm leaving those there so what y'all need to know about this nine of pentacles though for real for real have a meditation staycation um sweet um you are in bliss with yourself she is in a garden minding her business she is meditating. You, meditating doesn't mean you have to necessarily sit on the floor and with your eyes closed. Like meditation can make meditation means what it means to you. That means journaling. If that means swimming, if that means hiking, if that means working out, if that means um writing a fucking story or journaling or diarying or whatever the fuck. Um 
if that means meal prepping, um, if this means, um, just going, just go sit on the porch and soak in your neighborhood, like whatever it is to you, you feel me? And it says, seriously, a wise woman once said, fuck this shit, and she lived happily ever after. <laughs> Period. Period. When you when you decide to say F this shit, that's when the whole energy changed, you guys. That was the reset. The minute you say F that shit, reset, boom. You got to give the green light. I'm here. I'm ready to go right now. Hey, I'm ready to go right now. I'm ready to go right now. Ain't that for real? <laughs> I'm ready to go right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to go. And then I'm hearing, because I'm happy, clap your hands if you feel like a room without a roof. Because I'm happy. <laughs> You can't to get like this. <laughs> okay, it says embrace your tiny inner Buddha. Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all, listen, y'all not praying. Some of y'all not praying. Some of y'all not believing in yourself. Some of y'all not meditating. And some of y'all not praying. And I'm going to need y'all to have that faith of a mustard seed for real. And I'm going to need y'all every day. Whether you say it out loud, you journal it, whether it's the beginning of the day or before you go to sleep, you need to say three things that you have gratitude for, three things that you are humble for. And I want you to say three things that you look back on that got you to that place, like a pro and a con. So let's say you used to drink a lot or something. Let's say, I am so happy and have so much gratitude to not be in a place where I feel like I have to binge drink. Thank you, spirit. You acknowledge the problem. You acknowledge where you are at now. You are thankful for, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, whether it's a job, spirit, I I dreaded going to that job every day. I knew it was a stepping stone. I got up on the days when I didn't want to. And now, because of hard work and dedication, I'm in the position where I want to be. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? You realize the struggles and the lesson. You're taking gratitude for the integrity and shit that you got now. And you taking those lessons and applying them to where you are at. You're thankful for the lesson. You have gratitude for that. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit you need to be on. 22. Whew, it was just 2255 on the clock. Child, listen. It says embrace your tiny. Yeah, embrace your tiny beauty. Awaken to tiny beautiful things at every fucking turn. Confirmation. Confirmation. Acceptance better watch out. I'm coming for it next. Period. Inner peace is my bitch. Why you gotta say it like Shaw? <laughs> say you can't play uh, can't hang with the big dog stand play a whistle. Hey <laughs> little whistle. Stop playing. Acceptance better watch out. I'm coming for it next. First you gotta bring. Okay, one into the two, two into the three, then you've got to breathe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got the last two cards, so we got to clarify one, two, three, four, five, six more cards. The last two are already clarified for us. So why the fuck did these people not want you to have... This Wheel of Fortune. Mm. 
Why do these people not want you to have the Wheel of Fortune? Why do these people not want you to have the Wheel of Fortune, Spirit? Why do these people not want to have my collective have the Wheel of Fortune? Why do these people not want to have my collective have the Wheel of Fortune? Wife, husband, my loyalty is to you, 187. Which will be 88, which would be 16, which will go back to a 7. Somebody didn't want you to have this because they know where, like I said, with this lover card in reverse, they know where you going. You're going to find your wife or your husband. They know for a fact where you going, you're going to go find your wife or your husband. Because like I said, 187. That's that 8 and 8, which will be a 16 back to a 7. They know where you're going is victory. Or if you are married, this could, and this is like a job offer or something like that, your husband or wife don't want you to go because wherever you're going, you're going to be flourishing past them. And then the love dynamic is probably going to change. Take it if it resonates. Spirit, why did these people not want these, my collective to have this love? It says scam and scandals in reverse. Are you down to play roles? 182, 11. So it wasn't no scam or no scandal, but motherfuckers probably is playing roles. Motherfuckers is probably playing roles. Motherfuckers try to probably act like you are, they are your false lover or false job or something like that. Because like I said, you're going to be able to realize these petty offers and shit like that. You're not falling for the gimmicks. Yeah, page of cups in reverse. Grow up, Jody, 126. Nine, endings. Baby boy, where the femme hatred lies. Yeah, so this could be a, a husband... Or, like I said, if it's a wife, her feminine hatred, like, she might be one of them women who want her man to be up under her, like, under her. Like, she wants to be more above her man to have control or something. Or just a work dynamic, like, it's real sexist in the work field or something. Take it how it resonates. It's half full, not half empty. Stand still. 122. Blessings. No, blessings as your protection. Yeah. So when some of these endings happen, <laughs> rejection is your protection, baby. You not even worried about that little shit that they fucking taking from you because you know where you going is about to be. 122, 5. You already know it's about to be major change. I'm here, Lloyd. We're about to make a major move with this one. She's fine too, but I want you. Wait a minute. <laughs> Somebody wants you to wait. Hell no. So your homegirl, you saying yeah, she's been taking turn me on and I'ma turn you out. You know I love you like cook food. You know you dealing with a good dude. You know you good good brain like you graduated from a good school. You know I'm a good move. You should do me. So hey shawty, what it is. I call it what it is. I like to do a big that's a party in the hills. I call it what she wants to do. She she gonna call it what she feel. Okay, so yeah. Like, somebody trying to spit their game on here, spit your game, talk your shit, grab your gats, call your clicks. Choose the right clip. You got the right one. Okay. Spit your game, talk your shit. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> you about to have a lot, a lot. I'm not even trying to say this to be funny. If not spiritual warfare... A lot of evil eye. You need to be taking spiritual baths weekly. You need to be saging daily. You need to not let anybody in your home at this time. If they don't fucking live there, you don't need to be having no company. 
Be careful who you eat in Africa at this time. Being that it's winter, the weather's back and forth, back and forth. I know I live um, in the Midwest. One day it's 40 degrees, one day it's 60 degrees, next day it's 2 degrees, 14 degrees, and it's back to fucking 40 degrees, and like, what the fuck? Like, so, don't, don't put yourself in a position where you can get sick, because when you get sick, that motherfucking, you, you're, in, you're not gonna have enough energy to fight certain things off. Like, you're very highly protected, don't get me wrong, but you need all the energy to get the fuck away from this. To keep your patience intact and all of that. I don't. I don't. I just want to grab from this deck real quick. They can't face you, y'all. They want you. Hangman in reverse. They can't face you. Bottom of the deck. They want you all rattled up in your motherfucking head and shit like that because they can't face you. While you while you are like this with yourself, like it's easy for them to do the bullshit. But when you're paying the fuck attention, like Kevin Gates, he was like, they all laughed at me when I was on drugs. Not I'm sobered up. I'm paying attention. Okay. Motherfuckers ain't laughing now. Motherfuckers is not laughing. What does my collective need to know about this three of uh, wands? What does my collective need to know about this three of wands? After hours, after the party is the after party. You already know. I'm seeing the Prince of Egypt. You know it's going to be one thing after another. One thing after another. One thing after another. But one thing that these people don't understand is all them things you're doing is bringing you in blessings one after another, one after another, <laughs> one after another, okay? I'm hearing work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard. The bigger the is, the harder they fall. He said, well, I'm throwing mine because my money long. Okay, work hard. Yeah, we ran a little bit over. But yeah, the last two cards, like I was saying, is already um, confirmed. So I have the two of swords in reverse. It says, take five minutes, mental vacation. It's fuck this shit o'clock. Again, you are not going back and forth with these people. You're not going back and forth with your head. Like, you're past that shit. You're past all that. You surpassed all of that. You surpassed all that. The sun, meditate. It's better than sitting around doing nothing. Yeah. Heavy meditation energy. Even like you just meditating is bringing in, is bringing in so much positive energy. It's clearing those energies. I mean, those chakras. <laughs> yeah. And clearing out those energies too. But it's really cleaning those chakras. It's healing those chakras. Taking this acknowledgement is really, 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 really helping you. So... Keep doing that, okay? Keep doing that collective, period. Okay. What is a motivational message that the collective needs to know? What is a motivational message that the collective needs to know? In the reverse. Yesterday is not ours to recover, but tomorrow is ours to win or to lose. Lyndon B. Johnson. Yesterday is not ours to recover, but tomorrow is ours to lose. That goes back to that 90% is what happens to you, 10% is how you react. How you react to something is going to be what your outcome going to be. Is you going to think big or is you going to be thinking small? Because depending on if you're thinking big or thinking small has a lot to do with a lot. Has a lot to do with a lot. Again. So, y'all. 
what will be happening to these people? that are trying to interfere with this blessing. <laughs> yeah. Dog, and it's the Empress card in reverse. Okay, so heavy, 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 heavy evil eye. I'm here dark witch i was just watching the last witch hunter last night this is giving them go watch the last witch hunter y'all like it's giving this is giving heavy witch energy like for real but now nah, y'all listen 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 the sun card came out fucking twice no this is the moon but you know the moon and the sun is like one you're illuminating you are illuminating and celebrating these people mad they can't celebrate with you. These people are mad you are illuminating. You are illuminating. You can flourish in water and off land. You got the initiation. You're walking through the pillars, baby. If you know, you know. You're celebrating. With more than one person, more than one party, with more than one thing. And then these people... As much as they try to act like they not going to be in a motherfucking head. Oh, baby. What's this? Nine of swords? Eight of swords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight of swords. You got these people on zombie mode. You got these people on zombie mode. Let me motherfucking... Let's make sure... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight of swords. When the eight of swords is in reverse, there is a tendency to rationalize, justify, and project blame onto others. But sure, you are not doing that judge yourself by the standards you hold your adversity to before you get caught in a trap of your own making. Focus your inner dialogue and your conversations with others on what you can do to produce positive change inspire others to see the high ground enjoy you there you can't complain about the bad attitudes of your adversities if you have one too again as much as people want to try to act like they're not hating as much as people want to act like they're not bothered as much as people want to act like uh throwing a rock high in the motherfucking hand and all this weird ass fucking shit baby guess what the proof gonna be in the pudding <laughs> uh, the proof gonna be in the pudding little bitch <laughs> not like for real but no Real, real, real heavy on that meditation. Real heavy on that scripting. Right now is the time to go back in your journals. Perfect your shadow work. Check off the things that already didn't happen in your shadow book. Make you a gratitude book. And listen, I'm trying to tell y'all. Amplify your manifestations. Speak only high over yourself. When you see yourself about to say something negative, stop. Even if it's slang. Like, oh, you so stupid. Stop calling people stupid. Stop calling people stupid. Or that, I'm dead as fuck, yo. Stop calling yourself dead. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's plenty of other things out here that we could, like, we could be sitting here for hours about it. But y'all get it. If you don't, you don't. Also, I feel like you guys are mature if you are on my channel. This is a time to really self-check your maturity and self-check the things that are around you right now and, and really ask yourself, why did you attract that into your life? 
Where were you at when you met them and where are you at right now today? Okay? Like, I really need y'all to ask yourself that. Stand still, half full, not half empty. I'm here at Sabrina Claudio. Time, still, still. I don't want to fight with you. I want love to. I want us to. I want love to. Okay, yeah, y'all yeah, don't live in the apartment. I can't be doing all that. But yeah. I want us to. Okay. Now I'm also hearing LMA naked. Okay, take off the makeup, the sweatpants, and vans. My attitude is mistaken for the mean girl. But what if I told you there's nothing else I want more in this world than somebody who loves me naked? Someone who never hides from love. Who knows how to take it? Are oh, you that somebody who sees a whole embrace it? Are you ready to fight? I can see what's inside my walls. Can you love me naked? Yeah, yeah. Spirit, what's one prayer message for my collective pertaining to this reading so we can close out? What is one message from my collective pertaining to this reading so we can close out? <coughs> one card, please, and thank you, Spirit. Thank you. <coughs> Luke 145. Take this too. Thank you. Blessed is who has believed that the Lord will fulfill his promise to her. Luke 145. You gotta believe. You gotta have that faith of a mustard seed. Like I said in the beginning, some of y'all are starting to lose your faith. You gotta keep that faith. You gotta keep that faith. Don't be like Lot's wife. You gotta have the faith. In the reverse, the Lord will always guide you. Isaiah 58, 11. Again. You got to believe that the Lord will always guide you right now. You are not. You need to work on your faith. You need to get back on that faith train, baby. Some of y'all need to go watch the book of Job or listen to the book of Job. Um, I had I had linked that movie on a couple other um readings before I might put the actual actual link so y'all can just go straight to it and watch it in the description so I'll be looking for that when I do drop the editing for this also in the reverse trust the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding yeah that's exactly what you're doing you need to undo that shit Proverbs 3 5 trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding like I said, when you're doing your pros and cons, you have to go back and look at where you were at. Look at where you're at now and speak your gratitude. Speak your humbleness. Give spirit their justice for helping. Okay? Don't let the help go in vain. Period. Also, leaving out water, snacks, food, um... Doing research on, you know, your ancestors or whatever you pray to, whatever. That is giving back to them. So, y'all already know what it is. It's Melanin Nation. Melanin Game. Melanin Pop. Melanin Taking Over. Per. <laughs> per. 611 on the freaking clock, okay? Friday, February 23rd, baby. All right, so let's get up out of here. 
Thank you for coming by or stopping, chilling with your girl. And you already know, smash those buttons y'all need to smash so we can keep thriving, baby. And I see y'all in the next one. My kings, my queens, my loves, my babe. Must say, must say, must say, and ciao.